Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and this is a very special evening for London cigar aficionados. In a few moments, I'll be headed up to the Madison rooftop terrace, which as you can see, has a incredible view overlooking Sir Christopher Wren's iconic St. Paul's Cathedral. I'm privileged tonight to have been invited to a massive celebration held to commemorate a full 30 years in the cigar industry for my good friends, AJ and Bravna Patel, founders of UK's inaugural La Casa del Havano, Hava Havana, and of course, the luxurious number no. six Cavendish, regarded today as perhaps London's premier bespoke cigar sampling lounge. AJ originally started out working in his father's West London cigarette store in 1989, and just four years later, he and his wife Brevna would open their own general store, The Paper Shop, in the West London suburb of Teddington. This would quickly become an absolute haven for local connoisseurs who shared AJ's then fast developing passion for Cuban cigars. And with the huge success they achieved and the fantastic popularity garnered from within the larger cigar community would lead them directly to these further exciting contemporaneous ventures. Tonight's incredible event brings together in one place so many of those long-term clients and friends from the cigar world all keen to celebrate with AJ and Brevna their tremendous 30 year anniversary. I also have the honor of Bianca joining me for this event. So let's head up and see what AJ has in store for us to celebrate this incredible milestone of 30 years. So we like to say thank, thank you. you, thank, thank you, you, thank you for everybody who's made the effort to come here to celebrate our 30th anniversary. It's not our wedding anniversary, by the way. <laughs> We're really excited that we've had an amazing turnout from all around the world. And we'd like to thank you, every single person here from the UK, China, Hong Kong, Dubai, Switzerland, Italy, Spain. Netherlands, Portugal, Romania, France, USA, and Cuba. And Cuba. <laughs> to the extent what we did, we bought the Capitolio <laughs> to London. The guys who've been to Cuba, they will understand what I just said. If you've been to Cuba, this is the scenery that you get from the Kopinski Hotel. It is Fabulous.
here with the man of the hour, AJ Patel. AJ, congratulations. Thank you for taking time away from this incredible party to speak with us. I mean, what does it feel like 30 incredible years in such an incredible industry, surrounded by friends, customers, family? I mean, this must be a moment to savor. Kirby, thank you very much. But as you said, what does it feel like being into 30 years of the cigar business? Phenomenal, absolutely amazing journey. A passion that became a business is just something else, flourished. And it's not just about the business, it's about the people you meet, yeah. uh, all through cigars. Mm -hmm. So as you've seen tonight, you know, we've got great supporters through, around the world that have come over to celebrate 30 years. And this is what it's all about. It's yeah. meeting people and sharing the passion yeah. and bringing the new generation into the cigar world. Yeah. And we all know what's about the new generation mm -hmm. because, you know, my wife and I not getting young. <laughs> None of us yeah, are. Not getting young. <laughs> not much hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's what 30 years in business will do to you. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes, definitely. I used to have hair when I was, <laughs> when I first started. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what an incredible testament to just the business that you've built, that you have all these people that have literally flown in from around the world. I mean, oh. you're reading the list. I mean, it must have been at least, if not more than 10 different countries. Yes. Uh, I mean, probably well past that. Oh, yeah. And I mean, what an incredible testament. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. Matter of fact, there's 15 different countries here tonight. And um, when I was making my speech, my daughter said to me, Papa, just say 15, 15 different countries. I said, nope, I want to make sure I mention every single country that has supported the event here tonight, yeah. which means a lot to a lot of people, especially when you mentioned which country they're from. Mm -hmm. It means a lot, you know? So um, we respect who comes and supports our business. It means phenomenal business, you know? Um, not just for business, but family as well, uh, giving us a lifestyle that we have, mm -hmm. but we get to travel the world as well, all because of the leaf. Yeah. And I mentioned the leaf. It's not just about one particular region, it's about the world. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. And hence tonight, it's all about the mixture of different continents of the world. Mm -hmm. Cuba, Dominican, Nicaragua, and Honduras, it's everyone. Yeah. Well, I can't think about a better testament, I mean, than the fact that a Cuban cigar at the end of the day is an opportunity to share time with people. And that's what this evening has been. I mean, what has it been like as a cigar retailer, being able to build this business around something for which people are so passionate? A journey an amazing journey to what it was before to what it is now and before you know you get, used to get the the elder generation that only smoked cigars but now you've got the young generation who enjoy smoking the most amazing cigars from around the world and it's not just about smoking it's the enjoyment yeah. that's what they love and meeting people yeah. that's the key thing well this is the one thing that i think really separates uh, great cigar from anything else is that enjoyment in the people and absolutely you know I've never met someone uh, over a cigar that I didn't get along with phenomenally yeah. and I would imagine that you know with your career and business it's been the same oh absolutely amazing um, the different types of cigars we come across uh, the different type of people that come across the range of cigars we keep as well it's like we cater for every single palette mm -hmm. in the world and that's what's the beauty of it you know, we get people coming in, I want a light cigar, I want a strong cigar, I want a medium cigar. We have everything. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the, the fun of it, yeah. is listening to what people like, what you can offer them, mm -hmm. and the range you can offer. Yeah. And not just your normal range, but we, we specialize in your super vintage cigars mm -hmm. as well, where we offer them in, in single sticks. Yeah. And there's not many places in the world that open up cabinets, you know, from the 80s, from the 60s, from the 70s, they can buy in single sticks. Yeah. And that's what we do at uh, Have Havana and especially at number six Cavendish. Yeah. It's, it's that, you know, I can afford to buy a single stick. Yeah, I can't afford to buy a full box, but single stick, I can afford to buy this. Yeah. And they can enjoy the journey of the cigar. Yeah. Well, that takes me to the next question, which is on such a special occasion, such an incredible night for someone that has what is has to be one of the largest and most you know prominent collections uh, here in the United Kingdom. Yes. You know what what are you smoking? How does one choose a cigar fitting for this evening? So it's very difficult here tonight because of we're given a good range of cigars, and I can see that you're smoking the Romagnones 230, amazing. the private stock, an amazing cigar. And guys, normally this is your late cigar, but Kirby has to dive in straight to, to straight straight to, where straight, to, I end. straight to the top end cigars. You know. Um, and for tonight, for me to choose, hence my speech, I need a cigar that I don't need to think of relighting again, and I can have a cigar on my hand. So I'm smoking a Hoy de Monterrey Maravilla. It's a book collection they made, only 3,000 books made in the world, 20 cigars. 
Um, I know you're going to ask me the date, but I think I forgot what date it is. But it's a new release, the B collection. Okay. They had an A collection. Now it's the B collection, and all the, the whole B collection is all about the size of the cigar. Mm -hmm. And uh, the latest book they released is the Cohiba Idealis. Okay. And I thought I I shouldn't smoke that here tonight because I'd be just showing off. Because the Idealis Idealis is a good cigar, but this is a soft, slow build up to the cigar. So I I I I I, I picked the. The, the Hoy de Monterrey Maravilla because it's going to be last me the evening with the subtleness of it. Yeah. So it's not going to say it's not going to blow my head. Yeah. So it lasts me an evening, but also I have the the Particles Lusitanius Grand Reserva. Will you be smoking is, that tonight? Uh, <laughs> I think I will be because it's my favorite cigar. Yeah. At the Grand Reserva cigars, it's yeah, my beautiful. favorite cigar. Have you yeah. smoked it? You know, I have had the privilege of smoking one. What I mean, a phenomenal cigar! Yeah. And this is a massive cigar. So I mean, what it has to be a what 50 some odd ring gauge i mean so i think i think it's a 56 ring gauge or 57 ring gauge by nine and a quarter inch length it's the biggest hoy de montre they make so this is a proper cigar this is a proper cigar as i said in my speech size matters size, size does matter <laughs> and you know what's beautiful about a cigar of this size is its evolution like what you speak about yes. is that yes. as you're smoking it through the evening it only gets better phenomenal cigar starts off light builds up with that roast almonds roast hazelnuts and that milk chocolate flavors. And it doesn't blow your brain, but you just enjoy the cigar the whole evening yeah. until the end. And it, you know you've had a cigar. <laughs> and it's then, it, then it, and an evening like this, it's time to light a next level cigar. And, and that's gonna be the Partagas Grand Reserva. Uh, yes. Maybe. But you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> oh really, okay. We've the got evening, something else coming. The evening's evening, not done. The evening is not finished. <laughs> Because in your packs, you have a golden ticket. Okay. And that golden ticket is very special. Uh, okay. Oh, well, yes. well, well, I can't wait for that cigar to come out. I mean, I have one last question I have to ask, right? And I think it is one of the things that really separates London from the rest of the world. And that, in many ways, is its cigar retailers. Uh, you know, the cigar retail environment here in London is uh, second to none. And as someone that has been in this business for 30 years, you know, opening the first La Casa de Havana, Hava Havana, here in uh, Teddington, and then of course, number six Cavendish. What is your approach to uh, cigar retailing here that you think is unique in London? So when we opened up number six Cavendish, me as a cigar lover, I know what I like. I like to have a range of cigars that I can walk into a cigar specialist and look at the range and say, wow, I haven't seen this before. I've heard about it and you have it. So we like to give that wow um, experience and once they've had that wow experience we created a bar a bar with super range of fine end whiskies fine end rums that are hard to find anywhere in the world and you can buy these by gram and they can take that and have it sampled in our lounge and it's not just a lounge it's a lounge where you have phenomenal leather sofas old English style low lights great ventilation system and you can enjoy a fine cigar. And that's the enjoyment of a cigar. It's not about smoking the cigar, it's enjoying the cigar. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, I have to ask, I mean, how long, I mean, number six Cavendish, I mean, what a great testament to just your passion uh, and really your attention to detail and philosophy of how Cuban cigars should be enjoyed. Yes. Uh, how long had you been working at, uh, you know, kind of percolating that idea, you know, in your mind oh. before you finally, you know, brought it into reality? So the journey took us seven years, seven years to get to get where we are now at number six. My wife and I, uh, you know, we always wanted to have a location in central London, but we wanted to find the right location. And we knew that time is not the rush. The location is the number one. And when we found number six Cavendish, I said to my wife and she said to me, leave it to me because she's she's not a designer by trade but she loves the world of design. And if you visited number six, like you have, the whole design, the setup is my wife. All I had to say is, yes, love, yes, love, <laughs> yes, love. And I write the checks. And I said, how much, how much? And I said, okay, but you can see the outcome yeah. on where we, where we are now. And it's that experience level that we wanted to offer. And you know what? As I said to you before, my wife and I, we're not getting young, you know, but luckily we have my daughter, Rekha, who stepped into the business. She's young, you know, she's only 28 and she has the drive. So we are here to support her and put her on the next level. 
And that next level, when it happens, she will be there. And the world will see what's going to happen, especially in London. Because the scene, the cigar scene in London is phenomenal worldwide. Everybody looks at London for the cigar scene. And, see, and London is number one. Number one. You know, find, hard to find cigars, go to London. Where the best lounge is, go to London. And, you know, we, we like to make sure that London stays that level as well. Yeah. And we are here to do that. Yeah. Well, it seems like tonight then must not just be a celebration of the 30 years so far, but also uh, what you have as in store ahead of you. So, oh, AJ. Abso absolutely. And what we create, where we came here today, what an amazing location. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Madison Roof Terrace. Almost and it's as close tables. to being transported to Cuba as one can be here in London. Isn't it? And you stayed at the Kapinski. Yeah. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. Not being in Havana, but in London, in a weather like this, you feel like you're in Havana. Yeah. And we have it. There you have it. Well, AJ, congratulations. I mean, 30 incredible years. Yeah. Have a Havana, number six. I mean, you have uh, truly what are some of the best spots here in London we do. Uh, to enjoy you know, that expression of... Uh, Cuban cigars at the highest level. So congratulations. Thank Thanks you. for having us this evening. Oh, you and know My wife and I appreciate you coming here all the way from the Texas. Yeah. But you know, you're not going to be disappointed because the evening's still young. Ah, well, I'm looking forward to that. AJ, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Kirby, thank you very much indeed. So there we have it. AJ Patel's 30th anniversary party here at the Madison Rooftop Terrace. As you can see, it's an incredible party with people coming in from all over the world. And what a phenomenal testament uh, to a long-lived career in this incredible industry and the relationships built. Uh, AJ, again, doing work at the highest level, number six Cavendish, one of the best lounges uh, here in London, uh, and certainly one of the most significant collections of Cuban cigars available for the public to enjoy. Uh, so with this, I sign off. I'm uh, going to enjoy the rest of the cigar and hopefully a few more. Uh, thank you for watching, and make sure that you uh, subscribe to CigarKeep.com. Uh, add your keep and make sure that you stay tuned to the other various events uh, that we will be hosting as part of the Cigar Keep community.